Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, my name is Bree, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey for all. And so, in today's video, we are doing a review on 100% Yaki clip-ins, which I'm really excited about. And these clip-ins were sent to me from samsbeauty.com. And the clip-ins is from Sensational. They sent me over two packs. Um, and let's see if I actually need both packs. So yeah, so I'm really excited. I have the curl pattern 1C and in the length 18 inches. So let's see how she's feeling. So how y'all doing? Are you guys having an, an amazing weekend? Today is Saturday, so I probably won't post this video until sometime during the week. But anyway, so this, okay, so now I can kind of understand why they gave me two packs. Um, let me see if I could show you guys. Oh God, all right, all right. So this is how the hair look. This is just one pack and look. So I could kind of see why they gave you two packs. But honestly, I feel like this is actually enough because it looks natural. Like, you don't want it to be too, too big. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want it to still be tamed, workable, and just look more natural. So, I feel like this is going to look natural. Um, and I have this in 18 inches. And this is the natural color. I'm not too sure if she comes in different colors. I'm going to double check. I was going to dye them. But honestly, I feel like... I'm, I'm not gonna waste my time. Like, it's not that much, okay, yeah, it is lighter. And the colors is just, like, it's just not happening, sis. Like, it's just, yeah, see, like, right now, it I feel like it looks okay, but as soon as I go in the bathroom and look, it's just two completely different colors, and I'm not okay with that. So anyway, so I'm about to go ahead to the store, rinse it black, and then we're gonna come back and put the hair back in. So I went ahead and rinsed the clip-ins and I air dried them. I used the back in the day rinse, I used Jazzy. I don't know if you guys know about that, but that is definitely a throwback rinse. So I went ahead and rinsed it. It's not completely black, which I don't mind at all because like I said, my hair is not really a one. It's a one B, but more on the darker side. So I went ahead and rinsed it and now it's air dried. Now, the hair itself is not really dry. It actually took the um, rinse pretty well. I didn't get too much shedding after I washed it out. But the hair is really puffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron the hair. Um, like as I'm going, I'm going to flat iron it before I install it because this is really not going to match my hair so this is what I'm thinking how I'm gonna do the hair this time right so I'm still going to do the half up half down but what I'm going to do is that I'm honestly just going to break the back and corals going down and then I'm going to just clip the the pieces along those braids because I really don't feel the need to do it the other way. I feel like this way is just gonna go by a lot faster if I just break back up. This is all of the hair that I'll be braiding back, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and make this part. This is where I will be leaving that out. After you part out your second section, I'll just clip it with that. Now, here goes the braiding part. Disclaimer, I cannot braid. My braids is always looking like a hot mess. Like, I could take all the time in the day to make braids and it would look like I had for about two weeks. So, I'm going to go up camera and make my little janky braids and then we'll be back. Hopefully it's looking pretty decent. It's kind of coming out at the ends because I did just trim my hair not too long ago. So, um, yeah. Anyway, hopefully it's looking whatever. So I got some bobby pins. Whoa, this totally came out. So I'm just going to just pin it up and take a bobby pin. And just clip it in. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead 
and put this at the very bottom. So this is how the bottom row is looking. clip in I went ahead and took out the bobby pin before putting the last clip in because now you don't need to have that security so yeah this is such an easier method you guys so I'm going to turn around and show you how the back is looking keep in mind we're going to cover that last track with the hair that we you know put up so this is how the back is looking hopefully it's looking decent look I had to go ahead and throw on some earrings and change my lip color because you know how certain hairstyles just look better with earrings so I feel like when you're doing a half up half down style I feel like earrings just always completes that look but you see guys so I really do like these clip-ins first of all they are very comfortable okay they are not causing any tension to my scalp or my natural hair like it's super super comfortable I honestly feel like I could sleep in this I may just do that and just wear this hairstyle to work tomorrow because this is super, super comfortable. And I really do appreciate the fact that this hair takes color and also takes heat as well. One pack of these clip-ins is definitely enough. Um, I really only use one clip-in from the second pack. But if you really want a nice natural look, then I would say stick with one pack. But if you want a very big voluminous look, then you could definitely go ahead and use a second pack. I'm really feeling these clip-ins. But definitely go ahead and check this out over at samesbeauty.com. And I will leave a full description of these clip-ins down below. And also a link where you guys can check this hair out. And of course, you already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Make sure you join Gang Gang to see when your girl drops some heat or whatever. And I'll see you guys back in the next one.